computer. So recording started and then share my screen. And okay, let's go over here. Okay, so, so that day we left our class, we finished it on the, on the how to see the planet strength in our last class. So does anyone have any questions about that topic or do we, we continue forward with our new module that is about career and the financial prospects? And definitely when we do this module, we'll come back to the shutbulls and the strength of planet again during the exercise and the examples. So you tell me if you have any questions, we can cover that first or we continue with our new class. I'm clear. I'm clear. Okay, okay. So I know you both have some questions about the transits and uh, I actually individually talk to you to clarify how we use transits, what to see in the transits. So if you have any questions about the transits, I can spend another five, 10 minutes to explain that. Or we will be definitely touching and covering those things again and again as we go into the modules. Because when I show you how to predict certain things, we always look into the transits also. Okay. I think in this topic also we will see uh, in the transit. Hmm? Yes, transit comes in every topic. Okay, okay. it will, it so will, I think will, it will clear yeah. now. Yeah, we will cover that in the respects. Okay. And uh, any questions about um, KP Star One, Jagannath Hora, the settings and anything? Are you guys playing around with it? Any questions, yes. concerns so far? I'm playing, I'm playing around with it, but um, I checked into the price on Horasoft uh, 5.0 and it's uh, the total cost would be 544. Uh, it's um, okay, so so send them the email or I will email them uh, that you are my student and you want to buy it. So they will give you $50 discount on that, okay? So, so if you want to buy this events also like the colorful tab, which I show you how the, the houses change color based on the event you select, that is a hundred dollar extra. That's why it's 500 something. Otherwise 450 is a software price, but to my students, they get $50 discount because I hope I, I have their license and, and they know I teach astrology. So if you want to get $50 discount, you know, then um, uh, their owner, I will, Pradeep, his name is, I will send him the email. Uh, and he will send you the link. I'll copy you on that email that Diana is my student. She wants to buy the software. And then they will send you the link with $50 discount. Okay. And uh, yeah, so if you can afford it, just buy it. All right. So let's, so everybody see my screen here, career and financial prospects. Yes. Okay. So why are we going to, we are going to talk about the, the major, one of the major events of life and 99% of the questions are, are about this. So when a client comes to us, the most important questions in everybody's life is A, what's my career looks like, how much financial growth I will do and the relationships. That's why the relationship was the first thing we covered because relationship is a, is a major problem in the time and era we've been living in. Everybody has so much of expectations from each other and nobody gets, you know, comes to each other's expectations. And that's why, you know, the lifestyle we are living in, the food habits we have, or the work stress we have, everybody's suffering from the problem of the relationships. So your majority of your clients will ask the same question again and again. What will happen to my relationship? What will happen to my career? What will happen to my financial prospects? Is this year good for me for investments? Is this good for a year for me for speculations? And understand this, people in the United States and Canada, they are very much into stock trading and speculations because that's another way of living. What they, they, they see and they have to go with that because this is how they feel that they have uh, some kind of inspiration or some kind of uh, excitement going in their life with uh, stock trading, forex tradings, and also um, anything about speculation. So it can be even casinos, it can be even you know horse racing or, or, or even sports betting. So that's why considering we are living in these countries and most of your audience and most of your clients will be based on United States and in Canada, um, the speculation will also become one of the major, major um, question in their mind. So when do they speculate? What are the favorable times to speculate? 
So in the career and financial prospects, I will cover that also. Okay. Right. So it's very simple. Okay. No analysis, paralysis, very simple. See, now the things will become very simple to you because we are only talking about the numbers. We are not talking about planet, aspects, exalted, deviated, friendly house, enemy house. We are not talking about anything. And based on what we have covered so far in the marriage and relationship, now it will become very, very easy for you to understand that the number tells and demonstrates everything. Okay? So the prime house of finances for service, service means job, is R, 2, 6, 10, 11. Second house is the accumulation of wealth, finances, and bank balance, right here. Okay? Right. Sixth is the house of your service and working conditions, because no money can come to you unless you're providing some kind of services to somebody. Okay? So that is, you have to provide some services to somebody. Tenth is the house of your career status, fame, and karma. Because unless you do a karma, your actions, you are not going to attain a financial condition in your life. What actions you do to gain your, to accumulate your wealth. Eleventh house is a prime house of career, uh, financial gains and promotions. So it's not career here, I should move career here, sorry. So let me fix it right away. Oops. Uh, house of 10th house is house of karma, career and fame. So let's fix it so that I don't forget it later. Okay, let's go back. Okay. And similarly, the prime houses for finance from business, if somebody is self employed into a business, everything remains the same. Instead of six, seven comes in here. Seven is your collaborations, your business, your daily interactions, your being in a self-employed or an entrepreneur. So seven represents the house of business, trade, and commerce. Two, six, 10, 11. So this is the chart. We covered that in our basics also. That second house is the major house of your finances. So if it is a natal chart, this house is house of your finances. This is a house which you need to sustain yourself. Without food and without finances, your self body, which is you as a first house, ascendant, cannot sustain. Similarly, second house from ninth house is the sustain of your dharma. This is the house of your dharma, your being righteous, your fortune. It is based on the 10th house of your karma. So second from nine. So we, we covered that in the first basic chapter of astrology. So this is the house which you need to attain or accumulate any wealth in your life. But this alone will not give you the wealth. You need to have a combination of house with six, which is the major service conditions. And also second from five. Five is your fame. Five is also your previous life karmas. And again, second from five is your sustain of your fifth house. Your, your, your fame, your innovation, your intelligence. You need intelligence to make money. And also second from fifth, means this is the house which is sustaining your 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 fame so that's why sixth house also becomes very very important in the matters of accumulating of wealth 10 is your karmas we already covered it and 11 is your gains without the gains nothing comes so 2 6 10 11 or 2, 6, 7, 10, 11, put it 6 here also. 6 is always required. 7 will come in the matters of self-employed. 6 will come in the matters of somebody in the service. So somebody, if a, if a businessman comes to you and asks you what my, my chart looks like in the matters of me making money or not, you check their second house, seventh house, 10th and 11th house. 
if this group is present in the dasha bhakti yatra or not or 2 6 10 11 is present or not so that will tell us the major period of their life is going to give them any finances or not clear yes so 2 6 10 11 2 7 10 11 that's it and we'll cover what are the houses of losses also now how to see this here's a table which i have put in on place make things easier there are only nine planets in any astrology chart right there are only nine planets sun moon mercury venus mars saturn jupiter rahu and ketu there are only nine planets if out of the nine planets the maximum planets are showing this combination 2 6 7 10 11 2 6 10 11 or 2 7 10 11 the person will have very good financial prospect overall in his life or in her life because 2 6 10 11 is a major contributor of your financial condition seven joining means getting money more from the finances and from sorry money or finances more from the business and from the partnerships from the from the trading and from the uh, from being an entrepreneur from being into commerce so out of nine planets you have to understand and see how many planets are showing this combination this will show that money is coming into the bank of that individual then if you see in in the dba planets dba are the three planets dasha bhakti yantra mahadasha antardasha and parantardasha or we call them dba central government state government municipal government if all these three planets or the major dba planets like the two are the major ones because they run the most of the power are showing 6 11 and 10 11 that indicates success in career during that time right if dba planets are showing 4911 511 411 four, success in writing and written test four is your success in your writings five is your intelligence and then when you write something you use your intelligence when you are doing some writing work so 5 11 increase your writing ability so if somebody let's say a student is there or some individual they apply for a you know some some go for a certain test for their promotion or getting to the higher ranks of their authority they are appearing in some writing and the written tests so these combination 4 9 11 9 is your fortune just a facilitator here but 4 9 11 5 11 4 11 all these combinations are are indicated to give you the good success in any matters of your writing similarly the 3 10 11 3 3 is your group interviews and group discussions so if you are applying for a promotion where you have to go for an interviews 6 11 is a win of the interviews 3 11 is if the interview is a group interview many people are interviewing you or you are into a group discussion where somebody is is going to judge you and then make a decision so these combination in dba 3611 310 11 311 311, 311 will give you the victory over your opponent in the matters of your interviews or group discussions now people come and ask most of the question is do i do a business or a job so this is a very common question which i find people ask you know a job versus business and i will show you how to see that if we see the all the planets and major planets are showing 6 and 2 and 10 so 6 is your business service as a job and 10 is your career so it is good for service and job but if the instead of 6 you see 7 in most of the planets then good for business or self employed so only difference between money coming from job versus money coming from business is instead of 6 the 7 comes here right 
Second way of seeing is, which is a shortcut method, just look at the 10th house Kaspel sublot. If it is showing six, service or job is better for the individual. If the 10th Kaspel sublot is connected with seven in the nakshatra or sublot level, then business is the prospect. Change in job, change in career is also a very important question. And there are so many questions I get almost every day. I'm, I'm, I, I want to change my job. When can it happen? Or is it a change good for me or bad for me? So this is a combination for change for job. 589. Why 589? Because 5 is 12 from 6. So if you draw a chart here. This is the house of your service, 6th house. So 12th house from every house negates the purpose of the house. That was a rule number, rule number two, right? Or one we studied in our class two or third. So the 12th house from 6th house is 5th house. So when 5th is activated, along with 8, why 8? Because the 9th house, 12th house from 9th house is Eighth house. And eighth also signifies a pain. Whenever you change your career, whenever you change a job, there's always an element of pain there because you are leaving your comfort zone and entering a new zone. Right? Right. And then the ninth house, which is a change of your career. Tenth is your career, and twelfth from tenth is ninth. So combination of five, nine, and eight is a change of your job. Or five, nine can also give you the change of the job. If there's no eight, you're still changing it, but the pain is not as much as you will feel. But otherwise, whenever somebody leaves a job and joins a new one, maybe they're happy because they're getting some more better paycheck, better environment, but there's always a pain of losing their friends or losing their, you know, uh, the collaboration, what we always all, already had in the previous job. So the same combination, if you extend it, if you see five, nine, with 2, 6, 10, 11, and 2, 7, 10, 11, the change is positive. If somebody says, I'm changing a job, you see the combinations in DBA. This is all will be in DBA, okay? The Shabukti Yantra, because these are the three planets which are ruling you at any given time. In DBA, planets are showing 5, 8, 9, along with 2, 7, 10, 11, or only 10, 11, even 10, 11 is good. You say the change is positive for you. You're doing it with your desires, and that will increase your career. But if you see the change is happening 5, 9 with the bad houses, which is 6, 8, 12, 5, 8, 12, the change is negative. This is not going to work for you. This will go against you. And why we take 5, 8, 12? 5, 8, 12 is your losses and your opponent's gain. So you're in... Profits are coming from the house of 2, 6, and 11. Let's say that. So I'm drawing a chart here. This is 2, 6, and 11. This is your gains. Okay. This is you as an individual making gains. Now, which house is the house of your opponent, Nabila? 7. Which is the second house from 7th? 6. Second house from seventh. Eight. Which is the sixth house from seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelfth okay. house. I did not see. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Twelfth mm -hmm. house is six from seven. And what is the eleventh house from seven? Let's count it. One. Two, Actually, three. I did not see the chart you draw. You, you can see this. You, oh, something is coming here on the way. Yes. Can you see now? You can, no? move, your, you can move the people. Yeah, I move the people here. Move the people. Okay. Can you see now? No? No. Let's draw Nabila, if you take your cursor on the pictures of us, Okay, no, it's okay, clear. Okay. Can you see the chart now? Uh, yes. 
So second house, okay. sixth house, and eleventh house. This belongs to this person. You right. Right? Hmm. Who is the which is the house which is an opponent of this person? It's seven. Seventh house. This one, right? Yes. So what is the second house from seventh house? It's eight. Eight. What is the sixth house from seventh house? Sixth house. Sixth house from seventh house. Um, well. Two, six, eleven is the combination of okay. giving you wealth, right? Yes, yes, twelve, six. Two, two, six, twelve is your winning. Two, six, two, six, eleven is your winning, right? This is your winning. Now it's clear. So if you have to apply the same thing for your opponent. What is the second house for seventh house? It's eighth house. Eighth house. What is the sixth house for seventh house? One, it's two, three, four, five, six, twelfth house. Twelfth house. Yes. And what is the eleventh house from seventh house? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's fifth house. So five, eight, and twelve are the winning of your opponent. Am I right? Okay, right. What is that third word you're saying? I, I'm not quite understand, understanding what it is. Five, eight, and twelve. So let's do it again. Okay. So let's. No, do I have I have that part. I don't have the okay. word you're saying. I'm not. I'm not. So I'm saying the opponent. Okay. Seventh is the house of your opponent. Okay, opponent, the person with whom you are dealing with. So if you are the first oh, house. Okay. Opponent, your yes. opponent is your seventh house, right? right the yes. person who is standing opposite of you, because this is seventh house is right opposite of you, right? Yes. That's your opponent, right? An opponent person's winning is two six eleven from seventh house. So seventh house winning is eighth house. Seventh house winning is your twelfth house. Seventh house winning is your eighth house. Your your fifth house. So five eight twelve means. That you are losing to your opponent. Same logic, your two six eleven versus sevens two six eleven, right? So that is why if you see five eight twelve, that shows losses in money because you are losing to your opponent. Two six ten. In DBA means you are making money. Five, eight, twelve in DBA means you are losing money. That's clear. We'll do some exercises here to just show you this thing. So let's see what we have next. So let's do some some exercises before I go to the next slide, so that it can reinforce the the whole learning uh, in your mind. So let's do I go back to my software. Okay, can you see my software now? Yes. Okay, this is a chart I just saw today morning. So let's let's start with this. Okay, Thomas. Smith, he's one of my client. Okay, so okay, so Nabila, what period he's going through right now? Can you tell me? Yes, it's uh, Mercury, Ketu, and Ketu. Uh, sorry, Let, now read it. Mercury, Venus, and Rahu. Yeah, Mercury, Venus, and Rahu. Right. So Mercury is the central government. The Shah, Venus is. Bhukti, which becomes your state government, and Rahu becomes your municipal government. Okay. Yes. So let's say the question comes to you: How does the financial prospect looks like for me at present? Okay. The client comes, and the question is: Tell me something about my career or my financial position. What's going on? Right. So you saw DBA. And you mark them. So this is Mercury. This is Venus, and this is Rahu. And we know how to read it, right? Yes. Planet, nakshatra, sabla. Now looking at this, 
what do you see nabila first you, you go okay is mercury showing money 27 mm, 5 mm. yes my it's show 27 yeah 2 is there 6 is there right yes but there's two no 10 in 11 so money is there but it's not it's just like coming and going coming and going 10 11 means increasing in your bank balance right it's increasing you but there's no 10 11 but yes the money will come nobody saying that money will stop but 12 is also showing expenses so let's say it's a neutral it's not showing anything majorly up and down there's no 5 8 12 there is 5 12 but there's no 5 8 12 also right okay. so understand this 2 6 is yes the money houses are 2 6 11 10 and 7 if you're doing some business also which is fine so 2 is here 6 is here right so money is coming but it is not increasing anything for him because there's no 11 there's no 10 which is a gain yes. exponential gains right yes. so we call it neutral right because there's no there is 5 and 12 but there's no 8 here so expenses are there but not something which is giving a bankruptcy right now what is venus shows again 2712 all 2712 2712 right all nakshatra also sablar also so again money is there but money is not sticking money is coming and going yes 12 is losses money is coming and going when something is every day whatever he makes some expenses come over and you know whatever he has goes right but it's right. it's it's both ways inflow and outflow and then rahu is showing what now read it rahu is showing what from 27th of may 2020 till 29th of 10 2020 what does rahu shows money is coming or money is going money is going exactly but it, 11 is also there money 11 is just a support which will help him keep continue with his mortgage paychecks and is you know to live his life with a with you know with a dignity but he is losing majorly 5 8 12 is a major losses okay so so if if the same person asks you the question that i am going to invest somewhere what should i do so you know he is going through this period what will you say invest or not invest not until when now start looking at the next cycle also next is jupiter jupiter okay so if you say this person do not invest but then the question will come until when he cannot just stop cannot live stop living his life for the for for entire period for entire life yes. right whatever he is doing he has to do no matter what he has to do his karmas so if this chart comes to you and this is a very practical way of learning it the question is what's going on with my finances and you tell this person your mercury is neutral your venus is neutral neutral means you are getting and you are spending money is coming and money is going out okay yeah but your rahu is bad yeah. because of 5 8 12 combination is here 8 to 11 is your support somebody in your family is supporting you to get out of this period but this period you should not be you should be very careful and do not do anything till this is over 29th of october So then, okay. what is the next period coming, Nabila? Jupiter. How does Jupiter looks like? Um, Jupiter is good. Jupiter is very good, right? Yes. Right, Diana. Ten and eleven. Nine, ten, eleven. Show. Ten, eleven, ten, eleven is a winning combination. It's like three yes. aces, or in, in the game of, in the game of what? Poker. Okay. Yes. Ten, eleven, ten, eleven, ten, eleven. Right. It's a winning combination. Mm. So if somebody wants to invest I will still be cautious because I know Mercury is the main power the main is the central government central government is saying you will make money but you will have expenses also mm-hmm. Venus is also showing you will gain money but you will have expenses also but this period will be a relief where something will work out yes. right the losses will be minimized and something will come to give him a victory but power is less than 5% major power is run by the central government and the municipal government so be very very cautious where you are investing your money 
right? Because but when is the most important? When is the most favorable period coming? So let's say if we if we if we go through this chart more in depth. So I I only open two levels: Mercury and Venus, and then Mercury, Sun, Moon. So read this, and then tell me if you can try to make a prediction here that out of he's going under Mercury and Venus. So we only see two two conditions or the two main powers. One is the central government and one is the provincial government. So Dasha and Bhukti. Okay, Antar Dasha and Parantar Dasha. So Mahadasha and Antar Dasha. So we only see two powers here. And can we see what are the good time for him to be increasing his status in his career or making gains in his career and in the matters of finances also? How do we see that? So again, check the Mercury, check the Venus. And we know they both are weak. Am I right? Yes. Right, Diana? They both are weak. There's no 10-11, right, in both. Correct. They are showing money is coming, but there's a lot of outflow also. 12 is outflow and disappointments. 12 is the house of your disappointments. Mm -hmm. That, okay, you're making money, but there's a, there's a unexpected expenses, which does not meet your expectations, and so it's weak. It's very weak. What about sun? When sun will start from 22nd of March, is sun showing some relief, some good, positive, negative, or neutral? Diana, you want to take it, take it, take a try here. What does sun show in terms of money? Uh, you have the two in there, and yes. uh, the, the six and the seven. Yes. Uh, but again, no 10, 11, right? No 10, 11. So it's almost matching Mercury. So it's also weak. Right? Yes. Now, after sun, moon will come from 27th of January, 2023. We are not going microscopic. We are just working with the two powers right now. Because if the central government and the state government is not giving you the money, then the municipal government has a very little power. Right? Sorry. Did I press something? No. Yeah. So let's play with the two powers right now. This is how you make the predictions. Because we want to find the most auspicious time for a client. We just don't want to give him a time based on which has only 5% power. We client comes to us with a lot of hopes that we are helping him saving his money, saving his pride and giving him the right advice when to start flourishing in your career, when you can take risk in your career. So after sun, what is coming Nabila? It's moon. So what does moon look like? Moon. Um... Will you tell your client to, 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 to start doing more? You know, take more risk in 2023, so 2023 to 2024, reading moon. And you know Mercury is this. Mercury is weak. You know, already know that. Yes. The central government is weak. Now, I mean, the, the state government is showing what? Good or it's, bad or nothing? It shows 8 and 12. Okay. So, 11 is here, but not 10. I think it's also not a very good condition. You are right, but your your still interpretation is a little bit weaker because you forget that six eight twelve the lethal combination is here. Oh. Yes. This is going to be a highs and lows. Some victories will come, but everything will take an away back. Six eight twelve. Okay. Six. Eight twelve. And five eight twelve. Okay. They both are the most, they, they are the worst combination. 6 8, 12 will take you, give you the pain in your health also. Will make expenditure based on your health and job condition will deteriorate. 5 8, 12 is that your opponents are winning against you. Okay. Wherever you put your bets, they are winning, you are losing. And we covered this many times that 6 8, 12 is the holy grail of bad times. Yes. 11 is here just to keep this man float that his wife and children are with him and they are not doing anything against him and rather they are helping him to get out of this trouble. Right? So, uh, moon is not even a good period for him to start taking risk. I would still be very cautious. 
Right. Diana, right. you understand this? Yes, perfectly. Awesome. Right. And then comes Mars. Mars coming from 2024, June, till 2025. So what does Mars show us now? Now, Diana, you read it. This will be very easy and simple for you. And you make it easy, I know, because let's see your interpretation. In, in Mars period, you know Mercury's week, Mars is now coming. Will you ask this person to take risk and, and start investing money? Or you will say, no, go slow. I would say no, even though there's a 10 and 11, um, there's no two and there's no six and there's no seven. Isn't it's, it the central government is giving two, six, 11, two, six, seven here? When this and this will combine together, two is also there, six is also there, seven is also there, 10, 11 is also there, 10, 11 is also there. Now you have to combine these forces. Then there's help. Yes, then it's fine. Then it's very good. Very That's good. That's going to help him. Right? You always have to understand the central government and the state government, they both will work together. This is giving 267, already showing that the money is pouring in, though there are expenses. But here, expenses are gone. All the profits are coming. Yeah. 11, 11, 11. Profits, profits, and profits. Well, with, with if it's just by itself, then I, if it's just Mars, that's why I said no. But if it's combined with Mercury, yes. Yes. If it is Mars only, then you see them, the gains are coming in inheritance. The right. gains are coming in in the travels. The gains are coming in in any consultation business you do, because nine is consultation, especially in the matters of travel agency. Nine is foreign travel. Nine is travel. And if you are doing nine house activation, you have gains in your spiritual activity, gains in your, uh, in your higher studies, gains through religion, or gains in the matter of any being any agent and try facilitating that through the people. So if, and you're right here, Diana, if, if this would have been the only planet, even though the planet will always work with some other planet, you know, two, three planets together working, right? So if Mars would have been the major period, let's see when he was, he was in the Mars period. Um, if we go back, sorry, he's going under Mercury right now. Then we'll come Ketu, Venus, Sun, Moon. Oh, that's back. So let's go back. So his Mars period was 1955 till 1962. And he was very young that time. So that's why this period will never come alone, right? So it will always come as a mid period between the other planets. So Mercury, Mars, both will give good results. Now, after that, what will come? Rahu. Now, the same thing again. Will you give him an advice to, to put a lot of investments and risk during this period, Nabila? Rahu shows 5, 8, 12. Yes, we already covered that the Rahu is bad. Right now, he's going through the Rahu period, but as a municipal government, right? He's going into Mercury, Venus, and Rahu. Rahu is bad. Then comes Jupiter. What will you say again? Now, Jupiter and Mercury. Diana, use the same logic what he did. Uh, he's, he'll, he'll do well. Yes, ex excellent. That's, that's a great answer. Because both of these together powers will give him very good results. And, and in between that, if the small power is not helping, that doesn't mean anything. It's just like a little bit of a bumpy ride but these two major powers are helping, right? If let's say the person is going under Mercury, Jupiter and Rahu period, Rahu is only 5% power. These two are giving him a lot of gains. Little bit of turbulence, 5, 8, 12 will not give him any harm because 10, 11, 10, 11 and 11, 1 here will help him to continue to sail smoothly, right? So this is how you need to interpret the ratio of the powers and then how they are combining with each other. Uh, and after Jupiter, Saturn will come. What is Saturn showing? Mixed results, right? I'll make it easier for you. Mixed results. Yes. Yes. Some 2, 6, 10 is there. 2, 6, 10, 11 is here. But 12 is also here. So mixed results. He will have good money in flow. But 
but consider expenses are also coming. So understand this, only see those houses which are in the context of the question. I know there are many, nine is there, 12 is there, many other houses might be there, but you have to focus on the, the houses which are in the context of the question. Question is not about the marriage. Now, if, if we twist it a little, little bit more, the same person says during Mercury Venus, what do you see about my marriage? Now, the planets are same. Mercury, Venus, Rahu, at this point, they're not giving him any money because this is weak for money. Weak for money and ups and downs, losses in money. But what does the same planet show? If the same person asks you now, okay, tell me about my relationship. So how will you interpret it? Nabila? Mercury, <clears throat> Mercury show two seven, but uh, one six also okay. mix. So two seven and one six also. in the nakshatra, one six yes. are scattered. Yes. One is in only the sub lord, six is in the planet. Okay. So nakshatra is showing two seven, which is a good sign, yes. right? For relationship, we see second house, seventh house, mm -hmm. right? 10 and 11. And for separation, we see the sixth house, yes. one and six. One now, and Mercury is okay because two yes. is, he's still with his family. Seven is, he's still married and into a relationship. One and six are not together. If one and six would have been here, then we see that there's a gap. Or one and six here in this line gap. One is here, six is here. Planet is very less in power compared to nakshatra and sub -law. Is it clear? Yes. I mean, ask questions, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll cover, I, did, I really want you to understand this concept that the only three planets, what you are interpreting, the question can change instantly from career to, to marriage, to relationship. Exactly. The what will be your answer? You, we know for career, for financial gains, be cautious, be cautious, be cautious. But will it stand again for the relationship? We have two seven here. We have two seven here. And there's no one six ten together in any of these three planets. So will it, will it cause any problems in the relationship? No, right? No. There's no one six. There's no, there's, there's nothing. I mean, it's a neutral relationship. You are smoothing okay in a relationship. And if, yeah. if I go detail into his life, he actually got married in 2017. Um, and see, Mercury is giving that marriage. Two seven is in the Mercury Dasha. I don't know the exact date, but when I did his, his uh, time rectification, I know um, he got married in, in, in April, sometime in, in Mercury 2017, some, sometime. I have to check my phone to see that. But you see Mercury showing 2-7, that marriage is on the cards. Manish, 2-7 and 12 is here, so it means uh, he will be disappointed. For marriage, 1-6-10 is a disappointment. But what? It doesn't mean... Separation, it doesn't... gap. Okay. 12. This 12 is not linked to marriage. Marriage houses are only 2, 7, 10, and 11. And this point is 1, 6, 10. 12 here is coming as his expenses. In the matters of business he do, he's doing or in the matters of his finances. The okay. disappointment of 12th house we see from the classic Vedic astrology when the Lord of 7th sits in the 12th house. So Lord of 7th is in 12th house. So yes, he had a disappointment in his marriage because this is the second marriage he did. He went through it. Okay? But not here because 1610 is not showing here. When he went through the disappointment previous time, 1610 will be also there and 7th Lord sitting in 12th house will show some gaps and issues and challenges. Hmm. You, you don't match, you don't go with this one. So see, I show you. Even the software will help you. I know you will not have the software. So if I go marriage, 
Only planet, only houses it will highlight is, see 12 is yellow, 12 is sorry, green. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, 12 is black. Black means it doesn't stand in marriage. Only two, seven, 11, and six, see, six is red, that means it matters, separation. Two, seven means it is a green, it is a very good for relationship. So even the software is telling you to only look at these houses, house number 11, two, seven, 10, and one, six. Not look at the 12th house. 12th is black. Black means neutral. It doesn't stand for the marriage right now. Right? So focus should be only those numbers which I've given you. 2, sorry, 2, 7, 10 and 11 for marriage. 1, 6 and 10 for, and 10 for divorce. And you see the 8 has highlighted the same numbers. And Mercury is showing 2, 7. Good for marriage. There's no 1, 6, 10. Venus is awesome for marriage, rather endorsing it that I'm there to help you in your marriage. And Rahu is also de not denying anything about the marriage. It's denying the money, but not the marriage. And same thing if I move this to career and finance, you see that. Uh, where's career? Career. See, now see the numbers. See, Rahu is all black, or all, all red, 812, 812. Mercury is 612, 612. How many houses? Count the houses, very simple. Count how many red houses, one, two, three. Count how many green houses, two. So the, the red houses means it's weak. They are more red than the green. Yeah. Right, Diana, making it very simple. Yes. How many, how many red? Three red, only one green. Again, weak, very weak rather. Right, because here we have two green planets, green houses, here we have only one. And then Venus is, is good. So the help is coming from Venus, rather these two are bad. And then sun will come, sun is also showing three bad houses. And then moon is coming, moon is showing four bad houses. And then Mars is coming with how many good houses, Diana? Uh, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six good houses. If this person puts his money in this time, he will be a victory. He will gain, right? Because now count the all houses. Green is one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Count these, these houses also. And red is only one, two, three. Seven green and three red. So where's the strength? Positive or negative? Positive. Exactly. So it's another simplest way of learning it. Just if you don't have the software, you can write, you can circle these houses by red color and these houses by green color. The good houses, based on the slides what I've given you, 2, 7, 10, 11, and 1 or 5, 8, 12. So, and then count them. How many are green and how many are red? You will get your answer. See? Right. These are the two powers which are going to work during this period, right? Count the red and the greens. Only three red and the greens are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven greens. So wonderful period. Then comes the Rahu. When Rahu comes, green is only one, two and three. And red is one, two, three, four, five reds. So Rahu period and Mars, Mercury period is a bad period. Let's do more examples. I, I really want you to understand this concept clearly. If you have questions, keep asking. Why am I um, now? I'm covering both things together. The same person first asking the the question about finances, and the same person then ask the question about relationship. What will happen? Planets are three. The same three planets giving the different results for different events. They are giving money, but can take relationship. They are giving a relationship, but cannot give you the money. So this class in this, since we are now combining both the events together, this will give you the indication that one client can ask you two questions, three questions, and you are only looking at the three planets because they are the only one running his life. 
now this is one of another client of mine now what period she is going through um uh, navila tell me mercury moon and rahu so circle mercury circle moon and circle rahu fine central government state government provincial government make sense step number 1 right now this person came to us and asked me how about my career that's a question question is career so right. what are the good houses of career and finances navila if you remember yes it's 2 6 10 and 11 correct and 7 could be if somebody is in the business so right? business yes so we want to see whether mercury moon and rahu showing those or not so come to mercury and highlight it okay come to moon highlight it and come to rahu and highlight it what are the bad houses for finance when you are losing money 5 eight 12 5 5 6 12 5 8 12 yes sorry not 6 or 6 eight 12 and 5 eight 12 both right yes. i mean 5 eight 12 is more like you losing money 6 eight 12 is you losing everything you're losing your health also dignity also pride also you know everything is going miserable so so same thing right, right. so now you tell me if the if this client comes to you and you are an astrologer let's say diana you are an astrologer we know mercury moon and rahu is is ruling you someone your client and she ask you financially career wise what you see so what will be our interpretation looking at three planets mercury moon and rahu so let's look at the mercury first now this is very good example because it is a mix of everything right and it will train your mind so this has everything right you know what a, a perfect example to teach okay oh. one by one let's go with nabila first okay nabila you tell me what do you see in in mercury okay mercury show in the sub lord level it's 5 8 and 12 it's okay. bad bad time okay but it also show 6 8 11 2 6 8 2 6 11 also sorry but in nakshatra um, sorry in sub lord level it shows 5 8 and 12 yeah okay but nakshatra is showing 2 6 also right and 7 also right so will you mark it dead zero nothing or you no. will mark it no it it has a potential to give you something although it will take away also yes it's neutral so, i think so yes it's neutral because it has a potential to give you good money 2 6 7 11 is here 6 11 is also here but yes. it has also potential to take money out of you yes so it's neutral you cannot just throw away no you are just a you going into the garbage because you're giving me nothing it is giving a lot rather 90% of the people live in the same condition they make lot of money and then they buy the luxury cars and the vehicles and spend money in that mm. right their expenses are you know they even don't know because they are making good money right so mm. that means you know making money and spending also so yes there will be some unexpected expenses because 5 8 12 is sometimes unexpected expenses but you see the moment she have, she will have expenses there will be a gain coming from somewhere the moment she will have a lot of gains some expenses will come and bring her down so it will remain the neutral for her right yes. so let's say during the mercury cycle let's say the mercury cycle started i make it very easy in 2013 so let's say 2013 till 2030 let's say she has 100k in her bank account at the time 2013 when the mercury dasha will will finish she will end up with the same balance nothing plus and nothing minus so will it be a good time or a bad time diana it's an okay time it's an okay time because what you had is what you had that's it mm-hmm. right 100k was in your bank when the mercury started and after you know 17 years you 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 paid off all your expenses what you're doing doing every month and your bank balance is still the 100k so this is what mercury is showing here but 
the current period let's talk about the current period current period is mercury moon and rahu so what is moon showing almost same nothing 6 8 12 is there sorry 6 11 is there 10 is here but 5 8 12 is also here right moon is also showing the same thing what you have will just remain the same and similarly rahu is also same right yes so the period the person going through is yes. you are meeting your both ends let's say that the day you get lot of profits the second day you got expenses the day you get lot of expenses next day you get profits so this is the the swing the slides oh, she so is wow. going through right it's very simple and 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 you know once you have the software like you can always come back here and say you know career and you see that and you can count the the reds and the greens mm -hmm. right mercury has more reds then green so it's making it neutral because ultimately these these reds will also join the greens also 6 8 12 here which is showing red 6 is joining 11 also which this software is not showing right so understand make it in your head that 6 will join 11 also so this will also be a green 6 is green also and red also in this in this case so one so take 6 as a is a green also and red also 1 2 3 4 5 reds and 1 2 3 4 5 greens Am I right? right? Because six will join both sides. As I teach, taught you in the first second class, six is a is a house which joins six eight twelve also, eight and twelve also, and joins two six eleven also. When it joins with the good houses, it becomes green. When it joins bad houses, it becomes bad. So in this scenario, six is green also and black and and red also. So how many reds? One two three four five reds, and one two three four five five greens. Exactly neutral. Am I right? Yeah. Same yeah. is here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So moon is one, two, three, four, five reds. That means bad houses. One, two, and three greens. So moon is bad. I mean, it's still neutral, but slightly tilted towards bad. More expenses coming your way. And same is for Rahu. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are red, and one, two, three, four, five are greens. so again tilted little bit towards the negative side but in in a general sense we say it's a period where you will just swing into highs and lows in terms of the day you will have expenses then something will come and cover that the day you have you know problems uh, uh challenges something will come and cover it the day you have lot of profits the something will come and take it away as an expenses now same period same three planets now the question changes now client says okay right that means i should be cautious i should be cautious we cannot ask them to stop living your life you should be cautious that's it okay that period is highs and lows for you like a heartbeat sometimes it's 120 beats per minute sometimes it's 75 beats per minute right like you are you are you are running it into a treadmill so this is the treadmill which shows that some days you will have high beat you know pulse rate sometimes low pulse rate but you will survive nothing is killing you you will not be doomed now the same three planets mercury moon and rahu if this person asks can i get married what will you say what are the houses for marriage 2 2 7 10 11 So, do you see two, seven, ten, eleven in any of these planets? No. Mercury seven. has two, seven, and eleven. Moon wow. does not have. Ket Rahu does not have. So, only central government is showing that, but no other government is helping it. Now, what about once Rahu finishes, Jupiter comes? Any support for marriage? No. No. Saturn comes. Any support for marriage? No. 
Mercury comes. Any support for marriage? Mars. Yes. Mercury is here, right? Sorry, I was thinking Mars. Mercury is yes, right? Yes. Two seven eleven is here, but one six is also there in the sub log, weakening it very weak. So when you see this combination, you need good planets to help Mercury to give them marriage. So Mercury here is the third power and also the main power, right? So instead, what we'll do is just look, keep going further. What Ketu says, marriage, yes, no? No. Venus says marriage, yes, no? No. Sun says marriage, yes, no? No. Yeah. So look for the two major powers, the central government and municipal power, when they are actually activating the marriage. So the, sorry, the central government and the state government. So what we do is we go into our, this time, where we are only seeing the two main powers. So she's under Mercury and Moon right now. Mercury is giving a weak signs of marriage. Two seven is there, but one six on the sub lord. Well, in sub lord, there are two houses of marriage negation. And sub lord is stronger than nakshatra. So this marriage negation is stronger than this marriage desire. Desire is here, but negation is also there. Right? Yes. So I would say it's weak. Yep. And Moon is showing nothing. Moon is not helping Mercury to get this person get married. Am I right? Yes. Because Moon has no nothing. His ten is there, but what will ten alone do? There's no seven here in the in the state government. So after Moon, Mars will come. Will Mars help? Yes. It will. So Mercury and Mars is the time when yes, there's a probability. But the probability is coming with a challenge also that because one six is here and one ten is one six ten is also here. See one ten one ten here means alone living alone with six, with this six will join here, and there is only two seven here on the top, which is a weak in power because planet is less stronger than the nakshatra and nakshatra is less stronger than the sub lord. The vibes are there. This is called vibes, that you are vibrating. You want it. But will it be of your choice, of your desires? Will you meet somebody who was a perfect partner for you? It's still a question mark. There is still a compromise, gaps, and issues I can see. Again, Jupiter, Rahu comes, nothing in marriage, right? Jupiter comes, yes. nothing in marriage. Saturn comes, nothing in marriage. So rather, if you... Switch to this one, which is very easy for you re to, to read. I'm making your life easy, actually. You see here, this combination where Mars is showing you the good houses of marriage, it's also bringing the same bad houses together. One, two, three, four, five. Five planets of divorce, single, and four of marriage. See, the game changes. Marriage vibes are here. Vibes means you, your desire to eat this pizza is there. But pizza is not going to be the most favorable be cooked and baked pizza for you. It will come with some challenges. And the final result will also be that you will always consider, did I got the right man actually or not after you got married? But yes, this probability can get you married. But consider it will be a weak marriage. Because most of the planets, in fact, also showing the weak marriage combination. So only three, the three planets which are ruling you at any given time, they are the one who will answer your questions of present time. The same three planets, will I get divorced? Yes, in this time she will get in divorce if she's married, for example. Will I get career and finance? We already read that. Will I get marriage? We already read that. Is making sense? Understanding? Yes. Questions? Yes. What I'm trying to explain to you is that the current, when the, when the client comes to you, they are going through the current phase of their life. Past what happened, we cannot change. There's no control, right? We can predict the future probabilities.
but the current time is look, looked into by three planets, and these three planets can give you the different results for different events. The same planets can give you marriage, and the same planets can take your father away also. The same three planets can give you career, but the same three planets can give you divorce also. What is what you need to see is your eyes should look at those numbers only, which are relevant for that question. So this is the chart of the light worker, Susan. Her name is Shastra. In Hawaii. Anna, this is this is the light worker chart. Okay. This see the eighth house. Yes. See the fifth house. Yes. Unconditional service Ketu is sitting here. Yes. Rahu in eleventh house, ambitious to make collaborations and to make network with people. Venus, Sun, Jupiter is all in the occult science, spirituality, astrology, metaphysics, and being a light worker. What are three planets ruling her right now? Jupiter and K2. Jupiter, K2, and Jupiter, yes. Jupiter. Ketu and Jupiter. So these two powers are working. So financially, what do you say? Is she doing good or she's neutral or she's doing bad? Uh, in um, K2, she has six, eight, 12, but she has 10 and 11. Yeah. And she has seven. Yes. And Jupiter? Uh, and Jupiter, <laughs> Jupiter is, um, she has 10 and 11. With this, uh, yeah, 10 and 11. Yeah. And the six? 10 and 11, six. So money is coming, right? Yes. Jupiter is giving her the money, what she yes. needs, right? And Ketu is showing money is coming, but it's coming with expenses also. So 6 8 12 is 5 8 12, 6 8 12, both combinations are here. Definitely 11 and 10 is helping her, supporting her. But this combination is also giving a lot of expenses. And see how many 8s are here. 8 is here, 8 is here. So Ketu is kind of a neutral, bumpy ride. Yes, she gets some money, but she, she again has to put some money somewhere and to deal with her with her debts. 6, 8, 12 is, is debts. Okay. 6, 8, 12, when you get into the debt trap. 5, 8, 12 is when you're losing money in terms of your opponent is making money out of you. But 11 is here, that means something's coming back. Something coming back. So what will you say in terms of inheritance? You, do you know which is the house of inheritance if we covered it before? Inheritance yeah. means gain with the pain. So gain is 11, pain is 8. So do you see during this period, inheritance coming her way? Yes. Jupiter is showing yes, and Ketu yes. is showing yes, right? See, yes. that the question changed. Yes. The same person asked you, okay, you, you the same person was asked you, what, what about my career? You said you are going, okay, period. You're getting money, but you need to control your debt. This, is, this should be your answer. Because you see 6 at 12 is here. Control right. your debt and be aware of your debt. Fine. And then this person says, do you see inheritance? Right? The question right. changed. And right. for inheritance, we are not looking any of these houses. We are just focusing on 8 and 11. And okay. 8 and 11. Now the same person says, what about my health? What are the houses for health? We have not covered it, but I'm just training your mind to see how the two planets or the three planets, what we are seeing, can talk about everything about their life. So what about health, Nabila? Just try and guess. I know I have not covered it, but just try and guess. Don't worry. Even if you're wrong. So 
Six to twelve is here, but what are the mostly the pain afflicting house? One is your body, yourself, yourself, and eight is the pain, and six is your health. One six eight is a is a combination of the pain through health, and twelve means going to the hospital. You see one six eight in the nakshatra of Jupiter. Yes. So during yes. the Jupiter period, it's easy to tell that this person from two thousand thirteen to twenty nine will actually go to hospital. And have a physical pain, but there is no twelve. Twelve Ketu is joining twelve. Okay. Ketu, this see, always join the two powers. She is going under Ketu and Jupiter period. Six one six eight is in the Ketu also. If I take the health houses, twelve mm -hmm. is also six eight twelve is also the same problem. Problem with the health issues, debts, bankruptcies. Mm -hmm. And one six eight is here. So when these two powers will combine, inheritance is coming. I agree, that's positive. Mm -hmm. Money is coming. That's positive. Money is coming with a lot of expenses also, and the debts are also there, which is there, right? But in the matters of health, you are going to suffer because one six eight here and one six eight and twelve here is an indication of your health going wrong. now we'll cover this topic extensively about health i'm just giving you the hint that how only two planets you are looking but the meaning changes with every question the answer changes with every question the 16812 could be expenses from the hospital yes one is you six is health eight is pain 12 is hospitalization and you are losing money there you are losing your health also you are losing your money also you are losing your mind also so that's why 12 is a worse worse combination right yes but the 10 and 11 is keeping her afloat keeping her alive she has a support system working for her right and the inheritance is coming also so that means you know even if she has a debt she can pay it off the moment she get the inheritance now question changes how about the marriage if this person talks about you know my relationship will i get married if i'm no. single what will you say no 16 <laughs> yeah and when will i get married you see jupiter ketu is saying no venus saying yes or no to marriage no uh, no <laughs> sun saying yes or no to marriage No. Sun seven, seven eleven is here. Yeah, seven eleven. So twenty twenty three. Twenty twenty three. Right. Moon saying yes to marriage. Yes, seven eleven is here. One six ten is also there. That's a separative tendency she has in all the planets. That marriage can happen, but it always comes with a cost, with a price, right? so if if but if the person asks you when will i get married look at the two powers majorly the central government state government and first find the window when both are saying yes marriage can happen right here the central government is showing the weak combination of 1610 or central government is weak the the state government is saying no i can help you but i need a municipal government help now now you go to the third level within sun to ask the municipal government which is the government which is the planet which will help me to increase my strength so that i can i can convince the central government so what you do is you go into the sun and now find a planet which shows marriage jupiter sun sun jupiter sun sun yes it is a good combination it can give you marriage but let's talk about jupiter sun and moon moon is also showing 7 11 so this these two periods where the municipal government joins along with the provincial government or the state government marriage can happen well i just want to mention something on this uh yeah. subject that's a little bit off but um being that she's a light worker and the spiritual takes precedence over the marriage and there is a lot of 1610 in there Yeah, if you see the marriage here, see that's why she's she's single right now, right? 
Yeah, and the, most of the light workers are. In fact, look at her chart. <clears throat> it predominates. Yeah. Yep. It's just she was in the relationship for 12, 15 years with someone, but he he died. And then she never got into a relationship. She has two daughters, but she always struggled in a good in a relationship right now because she's a light worker. And what do you say, Diana is you can see that you know how many planets are showing marriage plus weakness. Venus is denying it, sun is okay, moon is both plus minus, Mars is good, Rahu is neutral venus jupiter is no saturn is no so she has the highs and lows in the relationships right and you can see she will get married if she wants to and she did that right but there's also a separative tendencies from other planets so some when the good planets will run relationship will happen flourish when the bad planets will come the separations will happen and the separation is to work on your spiritual and put that in the forefront. And that's the lesson in that. And I'm just saying that because we know that she is a light worker, but that's across the board with light workers is that we committed to being single for a certain time period. Doesn't mean we'll always be single. And, but it does mean that we will put relationships on the back burner and uh, focus on our spirituality because um, when you have the one six ten, there's probably conflict, and that takes you that lowers your frequency. So this just knowing that she's a light worker, and you said that it it makes sense, and it's all it really is tied in um, into the picture here. It yeah. is, and and, we and also it, see the Ketu sitting in fifth house, love unconditionally, unconditional love. So whenever she will fall in love, that will be totally unconditional. And, and it may it may happen, um, but yeah. So I just wanted to mention that because um, yeah, no, that's a good point. So th this is what I enjoy when you guys talk to me rather than just listening to me. Put your perspective, put your point forward, so that it helps us all learn. Well, and just and just um, Monish, with you having me as a light worker and all of the um, education that that we exchanged back and forth on that, um, yeah. it, it laid the foundation to have subsequent light workers come in who are looking for help and are looking for answers. Why am I not being able to get married? I'm focused on my spiritual path, but the spiritual, the answer is the spiritual is the more stronger um, where you're supposed to be and everything else will flow once that spiritual is um focused upon when that becomes your world then everything else will fall in place and the time for that will come when it's supposed to come and you'll see it in their chart at some point exactly. and i learned i learned that from you exactly so exactly. you know so you're going to have more light workers that are going to come in and now having having seen this one six ten again and a person asking about marriage who is a light worker, you know, um, pretty much what the what the prognosis is on that, yeah. at least for right now, at least yeah. until. Yeah, well, that's well said. Um, that's awesome. Yeah. So, so the point is this: that these Jupiter, Ketu, and Jupiter, the three planets which are running at present, and it could be any three planets working on anyone's life. We can open Diana's your chart, Nabila's your chart, my chart. We always have three planets working on us. What is the question the person is asking you? Now we know 811 is here, inheritance is here. Now Nabila, the same person asked you question, Nabila, what do you think if I invest money in the stocks and do a day trading? What will you say, yes or no? and why and you know the planets which are ruling over her is jupiter and ketu and jupiter so let's see focus on jupiter and ketu and for speculation fifth house fifth is the house of speculation for your anything you related to your stock trading day trading gambling casinos five is the house five needs to have a 11 house to give you the gains with 12 house, it will give you losses. And especially if it joins eight, it will give you more losses. 
So if the question changes now, first she asked you the question about your career and we gave the answer. Then question came about the marriage and Diana gave the answer. Now question is inheritance. We knew, we told her the inheritance also. Now question is, shall I continue to, to do my day trading or not? So what will be your answer now? Um, in Jupiter, there is nothing. It's shown a new, nothing. Yeah. Uh, in uh, next is Ketu. Ketu is show. Uh, yes, Ketu is showing five eleven, but uh, here also five eight twelve. Yes, and six eight twelve both are there. Yes. So answer should be no. No, and uh, the third one is uh, Jupiter also. Yes, yeah, Jupiter also. So no point. Yeah. Right. So now, if the question now changes, do you think my life? Do you think my life has indication of speculative gains or not? Now the question changed. Now the question is about the whole total life. Now the client is saying, the same client is saying, do you think my life has a gains from speculation, from lottery, from casinos, or from sports betting, or from day trading, investments, and stock market? then what, how will you interpret this? It's a question of life now. It's not a question of at present time. For that, you have to see all the planets. The life is all ruled by nine planets, right? Now, does all the planets shows 511 or not? If this show yes, out of nine planets, how many showing 511 versus 5, 8, 12 or 5, 6, 8, 12? That's the whole question of the whole life that we will get the answer. Ketu, we know it's, it has 6, 8, 12 and 5, 8, 12, two bad combinations together. 10, 11 is there to help, but it's not going to help her in the speculation. Cross it instantly. Venus, no speculation. Cross it. Sun, there's no 511. 11 is there, but there's no 511. 811, 811 is there. Inheritance is coming. Speculation is no. Moon, 511 is here, but it also has 5812 and 6812. Cross it. Right. Mars, cross it. Nothing. It's showing nothing. It's a dead planet for speculation. Rahu, 5812, 6812, 511. Again, mm -hmm. you will win and you will lose. This is the same indication. Rather, you will lose more. You, what will happen is you go to casino, you start playing with $100, you will make $250, and by the time it's time for you to go back home, you will go back and start playing again $250, and you will lose $400. This will happen to you. You will right. first make a winning, but again, you will go and play, and you will lose it. And you will lose more now. So, no. Jupiter, no. Saturn, Five, but there's no 11 here. Rather, six, eight is here, so it's also dead. Mercury, Mercury is the only planet showing yes. Am I right? Five, 12, eleven. The combination yeah. what we need is only. Twelve, eight and twelve is also here. Yeah, sorry, five and twelve is also here. I missed that. Yes, you're right. So this again becomes flat, weak. You're right. Good, good point. So overall, life is. What will you say? Question is, do my life, sports, speculation, day trading, you can, you say, it is not going to give you anything out of it. You can just do it for your entertainment if you want to, right? Entertainment is like, you go and enjoy your casinos, you go and enjoy your, you know, trades, and that's fine, like everybody does it. But do not expect becoming a millionaire out of it, because ultimately, you will go and lose it. So again, when the question comes about life, look at all the planets. When the question comes about the present time, look at who are the lords ruling you at present time. Is that clear? Yes. yes. I have so many examples. I can, I can spend all day with the examples. But this is how you learn, right? 
Okay, one more example. I, I want to do it, Malbrook. I really want to reinforce this information to you. Okay. Because I want to show you good examples and bad examples also, like good times, bad times, so that you can see. Okay, so what three planets ruling this client of mine? Nabila? Rahu, Venus, and Jupiter. What shall I do? I should mark Rahu, Venus, and Jupiter first? Yes. I marked all three. Let's make it across. So Jupiter, Venus, Rahu, Jupiter, Venus. So Rahu is the central government. First look at the Rahu. Is it giving me money or not? Status, money, gains. Am I getting any gains? 10 and 11 is here. Yeah. So 10 and 11 is a sign of gains. Okay, gains are coming in life. We'll see the bank balance. Second is there or not, but yes. So we'll say it is a positive planet, right? There will be gains in life during this period. Right, Diana? Yes, I was just going to say the 10 and 11 are dominant on this, yes. Rahu. Yes, see how many 10 and 11, right? 12 is, in this case, 12 is only investments, what she's doing at her wish or could be a foreign travels, but 12 is nothing wrong here because there's no six, eight, five, eight. It's, it's a very good plan to run. Now, what is Venus showing? Two, nine and 11. What is the house of money? It's two and 11 is fulfillment. Exactly. So when this and this will join, money will come pouring down from the heavens. Yes. Right, Diana? Yes, and gains. And, and uh, so you the, also this is pour of money, pouring money, pouring money. Here, don't look at nine right now. Nine is nothing here in terms of money. Nine will join 12 to give her a foreign travel. If the question changes, will I have a foreign travel? Yes, you will. Now we'll bring nine into the picture because nine is a voyage, the long distance travel, and 12 means foreign land, foreign country. Same planets. Question is, now look at the Jupiter. We miss Jupiter also. So let's say Jupiter is showing money. Yes, no? Yes. Six, 10, 11. All three money houses are here. Right? 10, 10, so prominent. So this person is making money. Now the same person say, you, you tell this person you're very comfortable right now. You are, if in your Rahu period, in your Rahu period, which started from 2007 and ended in 2025, if your bank balance was $1,000 by 2025, if your, if your balance was $1,000 in 2007, by 2025, it will be $100,000. And that's because of the two? Because the whole Rahu period is so good. Okay. And Rahu will join the planets, Jupiter, you know, will then Saturn, see, 610 is here, then, then Mercury will come, Mercury will bring 110, status, increase in status is there, 6 is there, then Ketu will come, Ketu will again give her good job promotions, 610 is here, then Sun will come, Sun will activate her 10th house of career gains, and then Ketu will come, sorry, uh, Moon will come, and then finally Mars and Venus. So all the good houses will be activated and 10 and 11 will join them to give her the rise. Rise in the matters of money also, rise in the matters of job also, rise in the matters of, of speculation also if she wants to do it because 511 is here in her chart. So again, first thing first, we know that Rahu is bound to give her a good, good gains. Gains in what? Gains in everything because Rahu will when join with Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Ketu, Venus, Sun, Moon, Mars during these periods of cycle, it is activating everything. It is activating finances also. It is activating long distance travel also. It is activating speculation also. It is activating her, you know, self efforts also. So she's getting enormous gains in everywhere. So this is called you put 
whatever you have in your hand maybe a sand you will turn into gold in this period and that's through combining all the three um yes dba because DBA. ultimately there are three powers working on you again the ship analogy the engine water and wind or central government state government and municipal government if all three are giving you good results the money is pouring on you you are getting your desires fulfilled 11 is a house of your desires fulfilled so now let's see that rahu venus and jupiter rahu venus and jupiter we know they are giving her very good results right now now question changes and i know we still have not done the travel but the question says do you see me traveling to a foreign land during this period and the spirit is going till first of january 2021 so for travel we see ninth house for voyage long distance travel 12 is your foreign land and 3 is your negation of your homeland where are you living right now or migrating to a different country so do you see these houses activated during rahu venus and jupiter rahu shows 12 yes hydrovena venus shows 9 right yes. and jupiter shows 3 and 11 right yes. so these three powers when combined they are definitely showing yes there is a high chance of you traveling abroad only same three planets question changed context change we stop looking at the 2 and 6 we started looking at 3 and 9 now the same 12th house which we are always been so worried when it mm -hmm. joins 5 8 this house becomes favorable now to give them a travel abroad right yes so the same house 12 is now favoring them now if this person says okay i want to put some money in a stock trading for a quick shot let's like say for for a few weeks and then get something out of it will i be profit will there be profit or losses will i gain or lose the same period rahu venus jupiter so which is the house of speculation again fifth fifth to make a winning in speculation what do you want fifth with 11 11 correct and no 6 at 12 no 5 at 12 and you know rahu venus and jupiter jupiter is there's no 5 rahu is no 5 venus is no 5 what will you say no right right if she yes. wants to do it then do when the ketu comes ketu has 511 so i will give her the time of 26th of november till 2022 and knowingly that there is no 5 at 12 6 at 12 in the central government and the state government to deny it because ketu is a third level power ketu is a power only 5% ketu is showing gains in speculation but if this denies and this denies then nothing will happen right but since they are not denying it they are giving her all the gains 10 11 10 this 5 11 will be good there's lot of 11s and 11s very weak 5 8 12 will will come here with these three powers but that will not have any impact because there's law of 10 11 10 11 to override it but if she wants a very strong indication then wait for the ketu to come in her in her in her in her antar dasha means the state government if this is the period she's decided to go for a stock market rahu and ketu this and this period she will have a lot of gains for the speculation so that was a probability in her favor and when is this opportunity coming back again 
it will come back in Jupiter and Ketu, which is 2032. Jupiter and Ketu again gains in speculation. The biggest window. When Ketu is coming as a provincial government, state government rather than a municipal government. Understanding the concept? Yes. Is it clear? When to use the power in what ratios? If the central government is good, state government is good, municipal government is bad, we can still play around with it because the two major powers are helping you. You cannot rely only on the municipal power, municipal government, if two powers are denying you the same thing because that will cause both ways swings, good and bad, instantly. If all the three powers are good, go for it. Right. Now, Rahu and Venus and Jupiter. Rahu, Venus and Jupiter. How is this period for a relationship? So, maybe now you want to try. How is this period, the current period, which is from 8, 8, August of 2020 till 1st of January, what do you see in a relationship? Do you see any, any highs and lows? Uh, yes, so for yes. relationship, yeah. always bring that houses in your mind. Two, seven, 10, 11 is you are, so, so you are sailing smoothly. One, six, 10 is you're feeling the gaps and the pressure. No, in Jupiter, there is no one. So there is no gap. Yes, six there is, yeah. Yeah, rather seven is there to cover the six and 10, right? Yeah. yeah. Venus is 211, enjoying the family life. Yes. And Rahu so, is... Every Rahu is showing one, but... Uh, you go six, 10, right? One, 10. So overall family life is good. 211 is covering up everything. 211 is, or three times 211, Venus, Venus, Venus. Yes. Right? So the planets are same, context has changed. Mm. But it may not remain the same forever. So when the planets will change, let's say when, when, when Rahu, Venus, let's say we go to Rahu and Sun period, Rahu and Sun period, will something happen to the relationship? I don't see it. Everything is still good. Right? Yes. Moon is also good. Right? Mars is also good. So in this chart, everything looks good from the Rahu Dasha period, that relationship is going to be good. But when the planet changes and the bad houses are activated, the same relationship goes sour. Mm -hmm. Right? When Jupiter will come, Again, 7-7 seven, seven is here. It's a good relationship. So she's very yes. fortunate to have good relationships. But in the charts, you will see in client's chart that the moment the dasha changes, the good relationships turns bad, ugly. So I hope this, this is clear, right? That yes. when we see the present state, we see the three planets ruling. But when we see the overall condition of the life, we see all planets. Now tell me, this person's overall financial gains, overall financial life, how do you see that? Let's rate it. So? It's very good. Ketu is very good. Venus is very good. Sun is very good. Moon is very good. 11 is very good. Yeah, prominent. Mars is very good. Rahu is very good. Jupiter is very good. Saturn is very good. Mercury is very good. Nine out of nine planets is very good. If she wants, she can be a, a very big tycoon, an entrepreneur. If you start putting her head and take, put some self efforts and be, you know, and, and push the pedal because the fortune and the destiny is helping. Yeah. This is one of those charts, which is very hard to find. Right, Diana? And she's not a light worker. <laughs> no one six tens yeah. on nine planets. Yeah. <laughs> Not, that's a dead ringer. <laughs> yeah, 
the, when you have my chart, <laughs> how many that's a lot versus how many reds for marriage? Right? What's that? How many greens versus how many reds for marriage? See, everything is green, oh. green, green, right? She's golden. She's golden. <laughs> and you see her carrier also. She's good. She's golden. Look at it. Look at the carrier. She's golden. Wow. She can do any, she can do it just about any, she, she can do anything, anything exactly. just about. When she asked me, Manishwa, and you know that she's going to Thailand to get a course of transcendental meditation. Her husband is a teacher of transcendental meditation in America. And at present, they are sitting in a beach when they called me last week to read their charts. They were sitting in the Bay of Mexico somewhere and they showed me the hotel they're staying in and what is the beach looks like, very much peaceful, in serenity, they have two small, very beautiful kids. And then she wants to pursue her career in the matters of, and she works for one of the Fortune 50 companies as a, one of the top executives. And you knew right off the bat, 2, 10, 11. <laughs> I knew that, you know, and you, know, also, you, know, <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> I knew that, yeah, see, you can see that, right? I, I, instantly I can, tell you know what you're going through and the question was they want to go to thailand for six months training for the transcendental meditation course and the question was if i'm leaving my job is it okay or not i said go for it don't worry <laughs> wherever you are you will be making money uh, she's gonna be staying in the Taj Mahal. <laughs> exactly see this is, this is a chart like that <laughs> wow So I hope it, it makes sense. It, it explains you what I tried to explain to you in the matters of that how the same three planets can give different results for the different topics. Right? Yes. The same three planets, they can promise you marriage, but can also promise you bad luck in finances. They can promise you inheritance, but give you pain in the matters of speculation and that is the reason that human life is never perfect because there's no planet which will give you everything there is none right diana right it's a combination it's of the houses it is a combination of houses that what do you want and we will see whether that that planet is promising you that or not period any questions so far no, oh, it's completely clear. This is a nice program. What, the astrology or the software? The software program. Okay. Well, both. My course, my course <laughs> is not fantastic. <laughs> no, it is. <laughs> I thought you were <laughs> praising me, right? <laughs> I, I, I am. It is. It's. I've said that, but yeah. Oh, it's I know, I know. I'm just, fabulous. I'm just kidding you. I'm just putting the legs. But, but uh, from that, the previous class, to, I think, Monish, uh, you make it really easy for us to see the transit, to see the um, yeah. three positions of stars, and then, um, like, Sara Dek ke phir usko analysis karna bahut easy ho gaya Yes, yes. And, and see, that's why I'm, I'm reinforcing the whole point again and again, mm -hmm. that never consider that the three planets who are ruling you are going to give you everything. You have to understand what is the question of your client. Yes. Question is about marriage. Look at 2711. Mm -hmm. Question is about divorce. Look at 1610. Mm -hmm. Question is about money. Look at 261011. Question is about start a business. Look at 271011 with seven house activation. Yes. Question is about inheritance. Look at 811. Question is about foreign travel. Look at 3912. Question is about speculation. Look at 511 is there, go for it. 512 is there, 5812 is there, 6812 is there, don't go for it. <laughs> depression, 26812. If, if 26812 is shown, you will get into depression. Right? See? Yeah. It's, yeah. They should come naturally to you instantly. What is the number you want to see? Mm -hmm. And that will give you the indication instantly. 271011. <laughs> <laughs> yes, always mark the 10 11s. Whenever you see 10 11, you should be smiling. Okay, that something is good to happen. 
If there is no 10-11, that is a cause of worry that, oh my God, something is going to go away from him, then see what? It is in health. If 168 is there, 58 is there, it is a wealth. Money is going to go away, right? If if 6812 with 7 is there or 1610 is there, relationship is going to go away, right? So if there's no 1011, then something is going away from you, right? And if both are there, like good houses and bad houses, then okay, something will come, something will go, something will come, something will go, something will compensate your losses and something will take away your profits. This is the this is the real life because life is never, never, never perfect, right? right. That's why you know people are never satisfied. They have money, but relationship goes. They have awesome relationships, but they are struggling with the money. They have kids, but the kids are not in their control. That is what life is, and this is the real astrology which depicts this life that no planet, no house, everything is never perfect. What you gain, something you will lose. If you have money, family, kids, everything good, then something in your health is bad. Right? Okay. Yes. So there are a few more, you know, career financial prospects, which we will cover on Sunday. Uh, how to see the transfers, how to see the promotions, uh, how to see promotions with gain in career. So how to see the loss of job, 5 8, 12 again, how we see the loss of job or litigations, and then how we see the suspension of job and then reactivation, reinstatement of the job. Okay, so these are the things, again, all we see the house combinations, and then we can predict just looking by these combinations. <laughs> Your life will be so easy. It's a key. You, all you have to know is how to, which key is your answer. That's it. Like I use the three planets, but I change the keys. For marriage, I put another key, 2711. If somebody says divorce, I took the key of 1610, right? To try to open the box. If the box is opening, yes, you're going to get divorce. When somebody says financial gains, I took the key of you know, um. 2611. I injected into three planets. If I can open it, money gains. If I can't open it, no money gains. Mm -hmm. So this is what we are doing in this whole series. And I'm giving you these slides because you don't have to memorize anything. All you have to need, need is understand the logic. Which house represents what? If it joins with 10 and 11, that thing will happen. If that house joins with 6 at 12 or 5 at 12, that thing will not happen. It may be a foreign travel. It may be a financial issues, it may be a childbirth also. And we'll talk about the childbirth in details when we go there. And then we'll cover the, the financial choices, how we see that what you should be doing in terms of your career. If somebody comes and asks you the question, shall I become an engineer, a doctor, an astrologer, a sports guy, a model, athlete, you know, how we see that. And I will teach you very simple techniques. It will take us less than 10 minutes to show you that what your destiny or your platform is meant to give you the most probability of getting successful in life. And how we see the professions using the 10th house cusp of God. And then we'll do the travel also. And we go over the, the how we see the travel. So these are the, uh, the in next uh, class, we will cover the travel and career all together. So career is today, we have covered it. And few things I've left, which I cover instantly uh, in the next class, and then we'll do the travel also. Any questions? No, it will look. Dinah? No, nope. pretty clear. Awesome. So I'm going to stop the recording.